Hey guys, welcome back. Houston Math Prep here. In this video, we're going to continue looking at more examples of solving absolute value equations. So, our first step here is going to be to isolate our absolute value. So the first thing that we need to do to start by isolating is add 5 to both sides. So that leaves me with 3 times the absolute value of 1 half x minus 1 equals 9. Next, we're going to divide both sides of our equal sign by 3 to get rid of that multiply by 3. So we have absolute value of 1 half x minus 1 equals 3. Now that we have the absolute value by itself on one side of the equal sign, we can go ahead and split into our positive and our negative versions of the equation. So dropping the absolute value, I have 1 half x minus 1 equals positive 3, and 1 half x minus 1 equals negative 3. Now we'll work on solving these two versions of our equation. So I'll start by adding 1 to both sides here. 1 half x equals 3 plus 1, or 4. And to undo multiply by 1 half, I'm going to multiply by 2. So now I have x equals 8 as one of my solutions. Following a similar procedure on the second one, I will add one to both sides. That leaves me with 1 half x equals negative 3 plus 1 is negative 2. And again, to clear out this 1 half, I'm going to multiply both sides of the equal sign by 2. So x equals negative 4. All right, so two solutions, x equals 8 and x equals negative 4. All right, checking out this next one. Solve the following equation. We have the absolute value of 3x plus 4 equals negative 2. So here's something we haven't seen before. In all of our previous examples, we have always had absolute value of whatever equals a positive number. Remember that this equation is asking what values of 3x plus 4 have a distance of whatever number is here from 0. So this negative 2 here is representing distance and distance is always greater than or equal to 0. So that means we cannot have an absolute value equation equal to a negative number once the absolute value is isolated. So there are no values of x that will make this true, and so we will say no solutions. All right, guys, that does it for this video. We'll catch you in the next one.